What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> Meet Yellow Jacket. My PDC Custom Chassis with my Savage Mark II Action. Thought I'd give you a little more information for those of you who don't know about NRL and why some people choose to go with a chassis over a stock. So why did I remove my stock? Why did I pay $700 for a chassis? Well, most chassis, or most chassis used in the NRL, uh, give you the option of adding weight. These are weights, and depending on the chassis, you can get weights in various sizes. And what you want to do is you want to be able to sit the gun around here, and you want it to be balanced. You'd like the gun to sit just level. Now, why do people use weights? Well. When you get into your gun, and you do set it up different because you tend to shoot more here and NRL, and you want to have your scope come back more this, compared to bench rest uh, so you can adjust your eye relief correctly. So you'd be leaning into it pretty heavy, although you do want to get into it because you want, of course, at least the least movement that you can get. Now, what do the weights do? Well, when you have your setup, the weights take that breathing away. So you know when you're when you're lining up and you're looking through the scope and it's doing this, or you know, it's moving. The weight stops that. Maybe not completely, but it allows you to get in and it limits that movement. So, hence the weights and now the arc rail. Um, people use, a lot of people use arc rail. Why? do we use it in the NRL? Well, the arc rail allows you to remove and attach the bipod really, really quick as compared to um, putting it on, and give me a brain fart again, my, uh, oh, why can't I even think of it? But as a court, as putting it on your reel that you would mount your scope on. So uh, as soon as, as soon as I'm done with this, boom, it'll be back to me. But you are usually timed in the NRL, and you want to use your time as efficiently as possible. So being able to remove your bipod. Uh, slide it forward, backward, you know, uh, adjust it. It's going to help you out a lot. And in case of a tie, time is what's going to be the determining factor. So, this rig is not the way that it's going to end up. There's, this is going to have a zero tech scope on it instead of the arcing. Um, but right now, it's a PDC custom chassis with weight. The gun weighs 19.14 ounces. So, pretty heavy gun and a, a big difference between what a hunter would use and what a target shooter would use. Now, Bench press people usually don't use this, but I believe if they did, it would probably help a lot. 
just because of how much it reduces the movement. It's got an Arkin SH4, 6 by 24 by 50 on it. The scope that is going to uh, be put on here is going to be roughly the same. It may have a 56, uh, 56 uh, diameter bell on it. But it's still a 6x24 as well. It's just a zero tech. A little bit better scope uh, for older eyes. Um, other than that, uh, I showed you the, the gun uh, in a previous video. What I realized is that the light coming through the window kind of didn't let you guys see it in all its glory. So, I am going to take you guys for a little ride. So, just a second. All right, and here we go. Adjustable. And I will be raising the cheek rest PDC Customs. You couldn't see that before. It's a 22 inch barrel on the Savage. Probably about four inches hanging over. You will get to see more of this gun tomorrow. You'll get to see it actually in action as I head out to my buddy Eric's house. And you'll get to see it shot off of some of the NRL type targets. Now I do have a little microphone on today and I hope that it's eliminating a lot of that highway noise. Very, very pretty gun, I think. Custom ordered for me. Again, the chassis is from PDC Customs. And just so you guys can see, let me put you back on the on the mount here for just a second. So what I wanted you to see was this right here is your barricade stop, and the Savage has a hefty curve, but you see how easy that was? Now, getting it back in is only difficult for me because I haven't been used to using it, but it actually slides in pretty easy. There you go. Just finding the hole without looking at it, and I haven't, like I say, you guys know it's new to me. It's only been put together for a day. Uh, man, the magazine slides in probably easier than it did with its stock. So again, this is the Savage Mark II 22 Cal in a PDC Customs. I believe this is the 5C stock. It takes uh, weight. He has a few... Uh, he has a few different uh, stocks for different actions, but he also has another version that doesn't have this tongue and it doesn't take weight. It's for hunting, so it's a lighter version. Uh, and it's, I believe it's the G5LE, and this is the G5C, if I'm right. I could have them mixed up, but I think that is correct. So, um, I did talk to Craig after the last video, and Craig told me uh, that I made a few mistakes on the video, so all stocks are adjustable. This one is a tool adjustable, so you, you have to have tools to adjust it. It has a tool list, you know, where you roll it and adjust it and lock it. And then each one of these versions, the tool or tool list, also comes in folded. Another thing that he told me uh, that I made a mistake on 
um, is he doesn't actually have the merchandise listed. And although he does have an email, he preferred that you gave him a call if you want to talk to him, if you want to order merchandise, if you want to talk to him about the chassis. Uh, he's a great guy. I called him and I had a problem with this, uh, the action going into the chassis because where Savage should have tack welded my magazine, they didn't. It was just squeeze my magazine where the magazine slides up into. So they didn't, and it kind of spread like this. So he actually pulled over on the highway to talk to me, and we realized that I had to squeeze it and slide it in. Now, once I squeezed it together, uh, he was like, don't even worry about trying to get it, uh, a little tech weld on it, because now you're not gonna take this back out and it's gonna hold it in there. I actually did take it out a couple of times messing with it. But after sliding it in the chassis, the chassis pushed it together. And as you guys can see, there is no issue with the magazine going in or out. So slides in perfect. This has been a pleasure to get, a pleasure to see in person. Believe me, it looks way better in person uh, than I thought it did in pictures. So, if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer. Um, one other thing that I didn't show you is he sent me a ton of stickers. Uh, the PDC Custom stickers. So, give him a call, man. Take a look, I do not, and I did not, I'm not paid for this, I didn't get this free. Uh, I just like Craig a lot uh, after talking to him and taking the time with me. Man, he's a good guy, and uh, give him some business, man. Very, very nice chassis, as you guys can see, and you're gonna get to see more, I do promise you're gonna get to see it in action. From me setting it up, getting it ready tomorrow, as I head out to Eric's, you'll get to see me go through the process of getting ready for the NRL. Not just this gun, but you're going to actually get to see me shoot the uh, RTI Profit 1 performance in 22 as I get it ready as well. You may actually get to see me shoot my son's uh, Savage that's stock form, 18-inch barrel, as I get him set up so he can compete too. Hopefully we'll both compete, uh, not this weekend, but the following weekend uh, at Fort Campbell. So guys, just wanted to bring it out, let you get a better look at it, explain some of the things to it. As we go along, I'll explain more about the, N the NRL as I make my journey to get my foot established in it and maybe get some of you guys to follow in my footsteps, join me out on the range. Anyway, guys, until next time, you know the deal. Stay safe, shoot straight.